Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I am doing some more DIY holiday and Christmas decor with blanks and items that I've thrifted if you want to see what I come up with, stick around. Project number one is inspired by my friend Kristen over at Simply Joy by Kristen. She showed this idea probably three seasons ago saying what a fun thing, especially for like, if you have someone in the nursing home, what a fun little gift that you can bring when you go visit so that their room is a little bit more festive. So I basically just thrifted the Santa mug throughout the year and I got this little tree for 75 cents. I am using E6000 to get a solid adhesion. Um, the lip is what is connecting it, so that's why I'm putting the glue and I'm making sure I press down really well. Let it dry completely and then add some ribbon to the top. And it is this nice, simple tree mug. I can usually sell these tree mugs in my booth from between $14 and $22, depending on how complex they are. Next, I am going to do five Christmas ornaments from a 50 pack of wood rounds I got from Amazon. I will have that linked in the description below. I was watching some TV, painted a bunch different colors so the bases would be done. And guys, don't forget, sometimes I forget, I also have um, a selection of recycled treasures papers on my website. And so I'm using this gorgeous black ticking stripe. I just, I just love this look. Now I could have painted it white for a more crisp black and white look, but I decided to just go over the black that is on there for more of a grungy look. And that's just what I'm doing. So I'm using liquid patina. Um, and then while that is drying, on the things i had a whole bag of little molds that i had poured last christmas with resin and never used i got a bunch of these little tiny molds from amazon so i'm painting the bells black with the idea of going over it with golden ticket so that the gold really shines next i use this finger sander making sure the paper is completely dry and sanding away from me so that the edges are nice and crisp. I use the Golden Ticket liquid patina on most of them, but on this one right here, I am using the Antique Gold Rub and Buff. I do end up using Antique Gold for this little tree one and use the Golden Ticket for most of the other ones. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what shade of gold do you like better, the Golden Ticket or the antique gold. Type on quick and thick has been my glue of choice these days and I am making sure I'm getting these resin pours from last year used up, glued on, making sure I keep them flat until they are completely dry. These are some little present molds I had gotten from Amazon last year, but if you have the new Santa sleigh mold, there's some gorgeous presents in there that I'll be using in my next video that I do like this, I painted them black and then I'm going over them with Golden Ticket and then I'm kind of wiping it back so that it's more like a golden glaze for um, a, a little bit different look. And then I will end up um, in the end going back over just the ribbon part with the gold so that's a little bit brighter than the package. I am loving how this gold is looking over the black. So on the back of these ornaments, I am going just one coat of the golden ticket over the black. It's a little bit streaky and I am cool with that because I am going to print or stamp um, kindest regards with black ink over the top of it just for a gorgeous back. 
For the bells, I go over this with two coats of the golden ticket so that they are very gold. And then I end up going over them with the liquid patina called Dark and Decrepit, just so that it is like an antique glaze over the top of them. And I really love how these bells turned out. Next, I am going in my Yuletide transfer book from this release and finding two perfect transfers that are simple but go so well with this ticking stripe. I use the burnishing tool that comes with every transfer book. And next, I'm adding some finishing touches onto the items. I'm going to splatter some gold over some of these. I did kind of get it all over myself, but you know what? It was fun. So I'm just using a little bit watered down and hitting it with another object. Now I am going over the back side of these with kindest regards. And since the stuff is already glued on, I'm just keeping the stamp on the table and stamping this down for a gorgeous background. Using the black velvet ribbon that I got off Amazon and a little skewer, just adding this final touch to these ornaments to make them look higher end and all put together. If you guys are new here, welcome to Create Your Own Cozy. I would love it if you hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and let me know you are here. Last year I got this guy in an ornament grab bag, painted him white, and tried to wet distress him, and hated it, and put him back in my stash. This year I decided I painted him black and let's make him a gorgeous golden Santa. So I am painting him with two coats of golden ticket and he is gorgeous just with the golden ticket on it. I was like, I was tempted to just leave him that way. But then after I added the liquid patina to one of the other projects over the top, I thought I really liked the more antique gold look and I like to do things the way that I would put them in my house. So I added that extra layer and am super happy with how precious and a much more sellable Santa. For project number four, I have been holding these for a while, looking for the perfect little vessels that would match each of these. And I paid $2 a piece for them, but then I decide why not make the vessel that it's in look really cool. Now, you guys know when this Bose mold came out, I totally thought Christmas, right? So let's go ahead and put some cornstarch and some IOD clay in the nice mold. The great thing about the IOD mold is it has the micro rim so that you can make some nice crisp edges um, and get a nice clean mold. Don't forget to make sure you properly take care of your clay. Ask me how I know. I went to make this project and my clay was dried out and I had to wait for my order, which thankfully was arriving that day with some more IOD clay in it. And look how beautiful this is. Next, I am going to use the Type On Quick and Thick. Make sure I cover it really well. And then lay it on there overnight so that it has all night to set up. 
Don't forget to check out my website at createyourowncozy.com for all the paint and products I am using in today's video. The next morning, I'm getting the clay out of the double bagged with a damp paper towel in it, proper way to store my clay. And I'm gonna get it out and there are a couple spots where it is cracked a little bit. I know that a way to um, reduce cracking is to paint it while the clay is still wet but it was halloween and i needed to get out there and go trick-or-treating so i'm just doing a little bit of clay surgery on here and guys one of my favorite craft tools has been this letter opener that i got from my old days in the office <laughs> and it has been very good for precision work and to kind of it's gotten me out of a lot of little jams. This is your PSA announcement saying it's important to keep track of yourself and put the clay away right every time and not forget about it. Next, I'm going over the clay and the pot with DIY. I believe I'm using little black dress throughout this whole video and just doing a monochromatic color over the top and then I seal it with big top thinking a shinier finish would totally work for this holiday golden look that i am going for and then i just lightly cover the bow and the edges with golden ticket and i think these trees are exactly how they are meant to be what do you guys think For my fifth and final project, I'm zhuzhing up some projects from prior years. I made this last year with the Christmas tree mold that came out in last year's release and it didn't sell. So guess what I'm doing? I'm going over it with antique gold rub and buff and I've completely changed the look of it. Same thing with the Santa Claus from last year. It did not sell, but he's so handsome and he needed to be a little bit more special. So I added the rub and buff. And then the last thing is from a prior video, I had done these ornaments and someone suggested adding the rub and buff. And you know what? I think you're right. So I added the rub and buff. And this is just to show you um, if you have some projects that you, you can't sell or you haven't quite finished up, go ahead and do it and count it as a project because you know what? You're getting it over the finish line. You're making it just a little bit extra special. And, um, You'll be happy when you can call them complete.
I have been a busy little bee this week trying to flip my angry mama's booth from fall to Christmas. Um, I am not quite done, but I think I might have an extra video for you this month. Don't hold me to it. I'm um, going through that process and um, I managed to do some more creative stuff this week, which I think was really, really good for me. I haven't mentioned it for my channel before, but I have a friend, her name's Treasure, and she has a brand new Made With Love YouTube channel. Guys, go check her out. As of when we looked this morning, she had 901 subscribers after three videos. Y'all, it took me nine months to get to a thousand subscribers. Whatever, whatever. She is crushing her YouTube journey. If you guys trust me, go check out her channel. Help her get to a thousand subscribers as fast as we can. Um, I love it when I get to support my other YouTubers. On that note, next week I am hosting a collab with some of my new YouTube friends. Not new friends, new to YouTube friends. And we are going to focus on being inspired by the Connie Lines and Designs paper. So make sure you check out that collab next Friday. And if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing so you don't get miss any of my content. And let me know in the comments below what was your favorite project today. I don't know if I have one. I just enjoyed, I enjoyed getting a lot of stuff done. It was a week of flipping my booth, um, going through some projects from last year that didn't quite make the cut, and doing a lot of ornaments to get ready for Christmas. So excited you are here. Don't forget to check me out next week when I host my very first collab. Hope y'all have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Guess who got his collar off? You see hi, Henry? He also got a little haircut. You gonna wag your tail? <gasps> Where's Henry? Where's Henry? Is he a good boy? He's a good boy. Yes, he is. I like you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check me out over at createyourowncozy.com.